What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be continuing with this other painting. And I'm really glad I, I could do some progress on this one. I'm really liking how, it, how it's looking. I think it's gonna be really awesome at the end. And yeah, let's get started. So something that I wanted to do, uh, I did mention this before on the other episode, was that I wanted to do some kind of clothing on her. The first idea that I got in my mind was to do something like um, a kimono or something like that. But then I was thinking maybe it covers too much of the of the body, and I want the people to see the metallic body uh, underneath. So I kind of I did some kind of robe. Um, which, which I think it fits better the idea and I, I'm, I'm actually going to do as you saw on the first image that you saw just entering this video uh, I did make some uh, leaves and flowers trying to imitate some kind of like a blossom tree so that's something that kind of resembles that style a little bit uh, at the left I do have a reference of some flowers that are not not really like blossom or anything blossom trees but I do like the kind of uh, idea the general idea of having this color and then that other warm color on top uh, very feminine so that's basically what I'm going to do and right now I'm just trying to figure out what the shapes of, the, of this um, clothing is and also making a little bit of um, progress in everything else so it doesn't look like I just work on the rope and, and on the rope and it's gonna be just that um, update I do plan on do like progress in every area that I can uh, at least in this beginning stage that's the reasoning behind it like I could just concentrate on just getting one thing right, like I did on the first one from for this image, which was the face mostly. But that was a decision that I made on for that video because I didn't want it to look so sketchy. And in this case, because that is kind of done, um, not completely, but kind of, it's really advanced. I can now focus on other areas that are really, really missing some detail and, and volume. And I mean, as you can see, it's, it's not that much um, work that's been done. It's mostly just laying out uh, very general stuff. Here I'm trying to figure out what's the right level of brightness on the, on the light that it's gonna have. Uh, this was starting to look maybe too metallic <laughs> and I don't want it to do metallic. I want it to look like clothes and Making it that material of like get a uh, satin kind of material is pretty hard. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna achieve that on this video. Maybe I'll try try something later. I will have to do some studies or whatever, uh, or try to find a better reference. But right now, I just want the whole idea to kind of come together better. And for that, I also want to work on the background because when, when the moment comes that I have to work more on the background, I don't want to have it just like what I have right now, which is very basic. It has some shapes and things that I like, but I think it's very basic. It doesn't represent what I have in mind. Um, for that, also, we need to pull up a little bit more reference too. But now that the robe is kind of getting to a place that I'm liking, it's kind of, um, it's, it's more encouraging. Um, lately, I've been really trying to find that that thing that makes me really continue painting right and this routine is helping a lot this routine of just painting one hour every day it's kind of really really helping and i feel like um these little steps really really help which is kind of what i wanted to to get across with this series of videos is that doing a little by little every day you can really get to do like so many great paintings and it just takes, takes that, just little little steps. And in this case, um, also knowing, uh, like I'm getting to know myself in what kind of topics I like, what kind of taste and things like that, because I used to do a lot of uh, things that people could argue like, like look cool, but 
man, I, I wasn't feeling really attached to them. And these ones, I've been really discovering what I really like to do, and it's been mind blowing to me. Like, why, why haven't I done this before? You know, it's kind of weird to to figure that out. It's it's like um, suddenly noticing that you lost some time or something, but then if you think about it, you couldn't have done it another another way. So it's kind of it's mixed feelings. Um, because maybe I could have started doing this kind of stuff earlier, but I don't know if I could have the strength to do a daily video, for example. Which it, it feels like everything came together just at the right moment. Uh, the motivation and the hunger to do this kind of thing. And I have to thank that to the NFTs, actually. Because before that existed, I didn't think of my work as something that could be commercial. I thought of it as just uh, something that somebody asked me to do and I would just do it, you know? I didn't feel too much like an artist. I felt more like a, you know, like a gun for hire or something. <laughs> hey, do, do this and I would just do it. And thanks to this kind of new world that opened up, uh, even if I don't sell anything, it got me thinking about what can I do, like, is it really what I'm doing, what I want to do, or uh, why does this, nobody wants to buy this kind of stuff like ships and things like that? Uh, because that I thought that's what I liked, but it wasn't. It's more like uh, me trying to do portfolio work for myself. And now that I'm doing this kind of thing, even if I don't sell anything, it feels like um, I'm happier, you know, doing this kind of uh, images. And I, I really think people will like them once I put them out. Um, anyway, um, at, the, at the left I have some reference for Gustav Klint. And by the way, guys, I did make a comment, sorry to interrupt, um, about making NFTs for... Um, to give online classes like that will be like the let's say the um, the way to pay for that so later you can recover your money if you want to you want to sell them later you can or keep it as a collectible that's another thing but i'm thinking about other kinds of um, uh, ideas to make that more valuable to you not just a class something that could be i don't know like a monthly raffle or something for to, to give like a poster or whatever if i make a review and have a extra tablet i could give that away between the people that have bought the nfts etc i don't know I, I figured that out um these ones that i'm making are not for that these ones are for a collection that i'm thinking about i'm gonna drop in some platform but i don't know what the platform is yet yet i will let you know when this plan of making the nfts for the online classes starts uh, it's gonna be actually more like a club than an <laughs> online class because you're gonna have access to other things. I'm just trying to think of something that will actually be valuable, you know, like meetings uh, and feedback meetings and stuff like that with only the people that have the NFTs, etc. Uh, but these ones are not for that. This is this is for a drop that I'm trying to put together for a platform. I don't know what the platform is yet, but um, I'm figuring figuring that out. Anyway. Um, as I was saying, like right now, I'm trying to just feel whatever I can uh, with with details that I like from the reference in the left, which is a Gustav Klimt um, uh, reference. And suddenly, I got this idea of making all these petals or, or these, uh, yeah, uh, flower petals floating around and leaves and adding way way more detail to the background which is i didn't have that before uh, before it was re really looking really flat and not too much detail and somebody could think well this is just a bunch of stuff put, to put together they're like thrown in there and it's like a very uh weird and graphic but that's something that i'm kind of exploring uh to do more graphical stuff not so much like just a scene with hyperrealism i'm trying to do something that maybe uh, could work as a poster, you know, or something that looks less, more like an art uh, artwork than just a image with a cool background, you know. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I'm, I'm trying to achieve. 
and also trying new things like trying new ideas trying new stuff i did make something similar like this before but it wasn't this um let's say light the things that i've done before that look like gustav klimt were really dark uh, in terms of values uh, mostly really um, black backgrounds and like dark blues or something it wasn't this clear and it's kind of fun to to actually don't give uh, too much attention to something with like perspective and atmosphere and all those things with, with more, only more like um something more like a uh, flat you know it's kind of it, it really really breaks all your patterns of working and <laughs> makes you think of different ideas on purpose you know and that's i feel like that's pretty cool to to actually have to do that to actually have to like rethink how can you do this to, look, to make it look better and stuff like that and it's like i didn't have that before uh, i do this kind of thing and that's really interesting to explore this kind of a more flat looking background instead of uh, something with volume all the time you know it's kind of it's kind of fun it's kind of interesting uh, also the use of the use of color if you notice there's a really limited palette here and here I'm trying to explore something uh, with the pink which is a very has a very little um, protagonism on the image and I thought well if this is a, just a little bit of pink in the image if I put a big pink square it will call attention and let's just put it um, behind the face because I want more attention there so people look more to there than everyone everything else and because the robe has this kind of like a curve uh, looking up kind of kind of thing it kind of makes me think that that darker um, values are making you focus more on the face and on purpose and that's the kind of composition that I was trying to figure it out and I feel like that's uh, really working very well here uh, But you will tell me like this is it work. It doesn't work. Just let me know what you guys think about it Anyway uh, Here I'm trying to add more value to the face because it was looking really I don't know like uh, flat kind of and added some bounce like to to the face from the metal which will be very reflective and uh, it will make everything look like that I feel like um, and that's mostly it um, because adding those more value dark values on the face I need to add more dark values on, like, on the robe because it, it will not it will look so so different and so disconnected but this is it for today guys thank you very much for watching and I guess see you tomorrow please leave a comment uh, with any ideas that you have or questions goodbye guys